Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a little bit more on this 2014 Ford Escape, how to install the Thule Evo clamp feet with the square bar crossbar and our custom fit kit for our Escape. This is gonna allow you to carry any of those elongated items or a bike or a cargo basket. You're gonna be able to put that up on top of your roof rather than hauling it inside your car. It's just gonna make more space for any family members or pets. Starting here at the bottom, you're gonna have a fit kit that's customized to your Ford Escape. It's gonna have these contours. It's gonna match those contours of your vehicle. This is gonna be a rubber coated steel hook that's going to clamp on the underside of your door and it's designed to fit a specific spot on the door so make sure you get those measurements right. Moving up the scale here, we have our Evo clamp foot. You can see on the inside here, you're gonna have your bolt of which you tighten it down with. And the way this tightens down to your crossbar is you're gonna slide it into the end of your crossbar and it's gonna pull that crossbar down onto the clamp foot, holding everything nice and tight. And that's gonna ensure for a nice clean look. And up here on our top crossbar, you're gonna have this nice rubber coating on the outside of your crossbar to protect it from any scratches or abrasions and to help things from sliding on it when you put those accessories on top. When you're all done, you can put your end cap on and you can replace these with Thule lock cores if you want more security for your roof rack. Now the crossbars we have on our Escape today are gonna to be our 53 inch crossbars. These are gonna have little to no overhang, so you're not gonna be able to put anything on the outermost edge. If you want more overhang, you can get overhang all the way out to your mirrors. I wouldn't go any further than that though. And this is gonna allow you to put accessories on the outermost edge on the outside of your feet. These square bars are gonna have a 220 pound weight capacity. They're gonna have a more rugged look than the aero bars or round bars but with that comes a little bit more wind noise and drag, so just keep that in mind. Now just a couple of measurements for you guys. From the top of your roof to the bottom of the crossbar, it's gonna be about two and a half inches, so that's gonna be more than enough space to be able to operate a sunroof if you have one. You just wanna be sure you get those accessories on there before you open your sunroof. From the top of your roof to the top of your crossbar is gonna be three and a half inches. So just keep that in mind because you have added that much space to the top of your roof for any of those close quarter situations. Now with all that being said, let's go ahead and take a closer look at how to get it installed. It's an easy assembly. We'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. First, you'll start with your foot pack and it'll take your evil foot clamp and you can put your fit kit on it. Make sure you push it down and around on until this part hooks onto the actual clamp itself. And you can take your clamp and slide it into place. You're gonna to wanna to hear that click, and that's it, and it won't come out. Now we'll do the same for the other foot and then get them on our bars. So in order to get in place on the bottom of our crossbar, you're gonna to wanna to push in on those two gray buttons. The buttons are gonna be on the outside, then slide it into the T-slot. So per your instructions, they're gonna give you a measurement to where it's gonna fit either the front or the rear crossbar. We're doing the rear, so you're gonna want it at 40 and a half on the little marker scale there. And we can go ahead and get our bar in place. Now in order to get it in place, you're gonna to wanna to open both doors. You just wanna kinda of loosely set it in place until you get your measurement for your crossbar spread. So your first crossbar, when you put it in place, it's gonna be 12 inches from the edge of your windshield to the front of your foot pack. And then we can measure from the front of our crossbar to the front of the rear crossbar, and that's how we're gonna get our second measurement. That measurement is going to be 27 and a half inches. Looks like we were a little off there. Move it back. Now we can adjust the other side. Now with our crossbars in their correct spots, and go ahead and begin tightening down our crossbar. Now you wanna tighten down a couple turns on each side. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your foot pack is in the right spot. You'll see there's a little notch that's made for this slot here. I'm gonna pull it over and then continue tightening. 
but you want to go back and forth to make sure you get it even on both sides. Now what's really cool about this tool that Thule supplies you with is it's going to let you know when it's torqued to the right specifications. You're going to hear that clicking noise, which means it's tied enough. Now we can go ahead and get our end cap in place and put the end cap on our bar.